Who told you about me? A friend. Do you have a lot of friends? I don't have any. What's your purpose of being here? To distract myself from my suicidal thoughts. Have you ever tried? No. Not yet. What's a regular day for you? I get up. I get ready. I go to work. I come home. I eat. I sleep. How does work make you feel? I hate it. Why? I get harassed and hit by my coworkers. What do you do about it? Nothing. I just go with the flow. I'm kind of used to it by now. What do you think will make you happy? Drugs. I'm not that type of therapist. I tell you what, you come back and talk to me more I'll give you the phone number of a doctor I know. All right. So how do you feel? What do you mean? How do you feel about life? Content? Sad? I feel... nothing. Are you saying you're not sad right now? I said I feel nothing. What made you like this? Life. It works in strange ways. How so? It just does. What do you hate the most? My coworkers. What do they usually do to you? Every single day, I go into work, I walk to my cubicle, and ten minutes later it begins. What begins? The first one comes in and starts punching my stomach. He'll threaten me to do his work, and of course I'll say no, so he'll start spitting at me. Then the second one comes in and he'll do the exact same. Which, you know, is fine until the third guy comes in. The third guy likes to use the stapler on my skin. Hasn't, hasn't the manager noticed any of this? She's too busy with her husband in her office. So why haven't you quit? Money. Have you ever thought about fighting back? Can I have that doctor's number now? Do you have any hobbies? I guess. Like what? I like hunting. What kind of animals? I don't really hunt animals. I just like buying guns and loading them. Do you ever use them? Not really. Sometimes I'll shoot the tree in my backyard, but my neighbors usually complain. Do you do anything about the neighbors? I killed them. When was the last time you felt happy? Jeez, I don't know. Come on, sure you do. By the looks of it, you seem to have been happy in a while. What makes you think that? <laughs> so what did it? What changed everything? Sydney? I'm assuming she's a former girlfriend. Yeah. She was beautiful. Nice white smile, cute dimples, life-changing eyes. She was perfect. Everything was perfect. Then what happened? One day, she had to go to work, and she'd asked me if I could give her a ride. But at that time, my job was my life, and if I had taken her, I would have been late. I mean, I had to care. Her job didn't pay that much, and I was trying to support us both. So I gave her 75 cents to take the bus with. And I made it to work on time. Sounds reasonable. While I was working, I turned on the TV to watch the news like I usually do. 
It's just something I do to get by. But it turns out that there was some kind of freak bus accident, and everyone on board died, including her. Apparently the bus driver was intoxicated and blacked out while turning onto the highway. If I hadn't cared so much about my goddamn job, Sydney would still be alive. Stupid job that never even cared for me a little. Used to be the happiest worker alive, while everybody else was miserable. But then I became miserable, and all of them took advantage of me. Harassing me, torturing me, doing anything they could to make me feel even a bit more pain. You know what would actually make me happy? Bringing my loaded shotgun to work and executing every last one of them. One by one by one. I just lift it up to their face and ask, do you wanna feel pain? <laughs> then I'd show them, I'd show them. I laid there dying, covered in my own blood. I realized I was happy. I mean, that tree should have killed me. But, you know, life can end any second. So why spend it sad? You're a good kid. Pursue your dreams. Go out there, make memories. Thank you, Mark. You know, being dead inside and being sad all the time really wasn't doing much for me. But, I don't know, I think I'm different now. I think I've changed somehow, thanks to you. So, thanks for everything. You gave me hope. Be safe. Have fun. Breaking news. This just in. Tragedy strikes as local therapist Mark Marin has just committed suicide. More news on it later tonight at 9.